ano importance ng UCSP? Number one is that this subject will provide you with knowledge and frameworks. Knowledge and framework. By the way, the knowledge can serve as your framework for you to understand how you are shaped by other people. How humans are shaped by other people. We cannot deny that the other people never so long influence sa atin. Our likes and dislikes, our beliefs on different issues. And this function evolved from merely animal instinct. Sa philosophy, when we talk about the, the levels of the, the, the levels of uh, the soul, animal instinct is in the second level. But there is a higher level that the animal inst than the animal instinct, and that is the rational mind reason. Sabi ni Plato, kaya nandyan ang utak. Kaya andyan ang ulo. To govern the other soul, including that animal instinct, the sensitive soul. The function evolved from merely animal instinct, meaning there is this consciousness, consciousness of the influence of other people on how, on the way we talk, the way we act, and the way we do things. And it belongs formally to the faculty of the human person. That's the reason why in a way it is called innate. Sige nga, STEM students, pakicomment sa chat box. Synonym ng word na innate. It's different from acquired. Sa mga diseases in, in, in biology, ano, there is such a thing as acquired disease at may naman congenital. <laughs> when, when, when I, uh, minsan pag inisip ko yung innate, ang unang-unang pumapasok sa akin, congenital na word eh. Pero tama yun, built-in, natural, no? ingrained. In a way, this is part of our inheritance. It is part of our DNA, our genetics. Okay? So magkaiba yan. Ano? Mayroon tayong tinatawag na nature at mayroon tayong tinatawag na nurture. Nurture is environmental. Nature is yan yung innate. At hindi natin pwedeng sabihin no, sa social science that there, is only an ex that there is only an environmental factor. Kasi mayroon ding dapat innate or intrusive factor. Dalawa dapat siya. Okay, kaya nga yung theory ng social constructivism, social construct, social construct, part, it is partly true. Pero ang, ang criticism sa social constructivism no, ay hindi nila nakita that the human person ay may ganitong function, may ganitong characteristic ingrained na sa human person. In a way, it is already part of the deoxyribonucleic acid that can be found in the nucleus of every cell of our body. So that's it. That's UCSP. That's the importance. That's the goal of UCSP. Hello? <laughs> Sino yun? All right. So, with that, there are seven truths in the study of UCSP. Halos magkakamukha itong seven truths na ito. No? But in a way, they are different. Number one, we are social beings. Animals gather. Diba kaya mayroon tayong tinatawag na herd? Mayroon tayong tinatawag na school of fish? Mayroon tayong tinatawag na yung mga gathering ng mga animals ano parang kala mo nagmi-meeting or magkakasama sila especially in migration but we cannot we can never term them as social beings sa tao lang ina-apply ang word na yan because number one that there is this consciousness of being with the others no? and there is this consciousness that we want to belong ako ay introvert no, ang dami ko ng psychological test na pinagdaanan. Ah, yes, Emmanuel. Go ahead. Kindly unmute. Do you have any question? Ah, napindot lang. Oo, huwag niyo pindutin yung kamay. <laughs> Alright. Mamaya na, pag, pag may question. Sige. So, we are, so, ayun ang sasabi ko. Uh, ako ay introvert. 
no, ang dami ko ng psychological test na pinagdaanan. I'm number one in the Enneagram and I am INFP in the MBTI. I am introvert. Extremely introvert ang diagnosis sa akin. Pero kahit gusto ko madalas na ako ay mag-isa, there are times that I want to belong. Because that is part of that innate characteristic in me. Because I am a social being. We are social animals. Number two, we are political animals. When we say politics, no, politics is related to power. And power is related to dominance. That's may, probably may, 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 up and, may ups and downs ang power and dominance. But the human nature, makapansin nyo, kahit anong civilization, there is this dominance, there is this hunger for power. Kaya nga hindi ako naniniwala na may isang social structure na fit sa lahat. Kasi kahit anong gawin mo dyan, that's the, the human nature will always want to dominate. Communism, socialism, walang pantay-pantay dyan. Dominance pa rin yan. May magdo-dominate pa rin dyan at may mag-a-abuse pa rin ng power. Because we are political animals. On the positive note, being political animals, we strive for order, we strive for structure, organization, and someone must lead. Another part of this being our political animals, our tendency, even those who are uh, unlearned, to, del to dwell into the issues of politics. Kaya hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, anong ambag mo, huwag ka makialam sa usapan ng politika. It's very wrong. Kasi part ng pagiging tao mo, pagiging political animal mo. Kaya pag may napansin ka kagad, the tendency for you is to react and to comment. Am I right? Kahit yung mga barber, mga babero sa barber, sa pag-uusapan nila yung nangyari, for example, sa SONA, yung policies na inilatag ng government, yung paulit-ulit na ECQ, tapos pataas pa rin ang pataas na cases. Because we are political animals. We want order, we want structure. At pag may napansin tayong abnormality sa order and structure, we begin to ask questions. Kung studyante ka pa na, nakikailan ka na sa ganyan, hindi pwede yan. Bawa. <laughs> hindi pwede yung ganong reasoning. Kahit sino, no? Kasi kahit anong organization, may politics involved. The family. May politics ang family. May structure kayo eh. Kung sino man na namumuno, ma mother or father, there's politics. Sa order ng magkakapatid, may politics. O, oh, red tag agad, ano, yung mahirap eh. Kaya na minsan, ano, ang, ang red tag dapat ibinibigay sa tamang tao, hindi sa kung sino-sino. At yung walang ebidensya, sinasabi mo lang, yun ang mahirap. No? Pero dapat makisawsaw tayo sa mga ganitong issue kasi involved tayo. We are political animals. We are part of that politics. Because we are part of a government. And we give that power to the officers or to the officials of the land. No, kaya sa election, no, we must exercise our political power. At tayong mga masa, our political power is to vote. Di ba may mga botante na ba sa inyo? Kaya hindi push the raise hand button sa mga boboto na sa 2022 elections. You have now the power. No, we have now the power to change, to elect, to appoint those who will use our power for the benefit of all. That's being political animal. Kahit taong simbahan ka pa, since you are part of, the, of, of, the, of this country, of the government, may kapapatan ka magsalita. Lahat tayo yan. Lahat kasi ng structure may politics. All right? At hindi ko sasabihin, no, uh, ang pinakaayaw ko lang nadidinig palagi, although sana makorek natin ito, no, na when we talk about politics, ang unang-unang iniisip natin ay corruption. Ang naisip din pa natin ay yung pagiging messy. Kasi in a way, politics is part of our nature. No? But the ones who handle this power, sila yung may issues, 
sila yung may problem. It's not politics itself. All right? Kaya for me, no, there's no such thing as dirty politics, but there are such things as dirty politicians. Yan. I hope it's clear. Third, we are born in a community. We are born in a society. Nung pinanganak ka, may family. Kung sino man yung nakapaligid sa'yo. May community. May tao sa paligid mo. And part of being born in a community and in a society is being born in a culture. Being born in a way of life. Being born in a belief system. That's part. We are born in a community. We are born in a society. We are born with the others. Ayan. In a relationship. We are born in a relationship. We are not born in isolation. Kaya nga no one is born alone. As in alone. Ang undergraduate course, course ko ay nursing. Ayan. Alam yan ang mga naging sudyante ko last school year. Nung ako ay naging nurse, ang lagi kong assignment ay delivery room. Hindi ko alam bakit ako nandun palagi. Kaya ako ay sumasalo ng sanggol, nagpuputol ng pusod ng sanggol. Pero wala pa akong nakita na sanggol na ipinanganak mag-isa. Literally speaking, <laughs> no one is born alone. Sixth, we are made to be with. This is important. No? This is somewhat a philosophical statement. The human person is intersubjective. Tignan nyo yung word, ah. Intersubjective. Subject to subject. That's being with. Not subject and object. Sabi nga ng philosophers, ano? The relationship of the human person must be an I-thou relationship. I-you. Yung thou doon, yung old English ng you, no? I-thou. Tabang thou shalt not kill. I-thou. That's That should be the relationship of the human person because you are made to be with other human person. I-thou. It shouldn't be I-it. Or ito may nagiging cause ng problem ano, sa power and sa society. Kapag ang nagiging relationship ay I at saka it. Meaning, I am the subject, but I will treat you as an object. And when I treat you as an object, I will treat you because I need to use you. That's not treating others as fellow subjects. That is treating others as a mere object that will uh, enable you to reach your goal. Pwedeng mag-umpisa lahat ng relationship sa ganun. In fact, pag pinanganak tayo, it's an I-it relationship. Hindi pa I-thou ang relationship mo sa parents mo, for example. It's an I-it. Bakit? Pag umiyak ka, anong gagawin mo? Kakain ka mag-isa? Pakakainin ka eh. Pag napuno ang diaper mo, sino magpapalit? Ibang tao. Kung sino man ang nagpalaki sa'yo. It's an I-it relationship. But because we are, we are human person, we are capable of going beyond transcendence nga, no? We are, we are, have, we have, we have that capability to go beyond that I-it relationship and make it into an I-thou relationship. So we are made to be with and not to be without. And lastly, ito yung pinost ko doon sa ating bright space, ano? Levinas, Emmanuel Levinas. Our face is not meant for ourselves but for others to see. Yun yung buo niyan. Our face is not meant for ourselves, but for others to see. Your face is not made only for you. Our body has its own language. Our body has its own symbolism and structure. Tignan niyo yung mukha. Saan nakaharap ang mukha? It is always oriented toward the others. Wala pa akong nakitang mukha. Maawain na ang orientation ay sa sarili. Abnormality siguro yun kung ang mukha mo nakaharap lang sa'yo. Ikaw lang ang nakakita ng mukha mo. Because that is not the nature of the face. 
the nature of the face is to be seen and not merely at the level of the senses but also in the level of number two experience and number three relationship it is intended towards outside of the self our face is not meant for ourselves these are the seven truths of ucsb and in context itong pito na ito no very evident ito sa question ko kahapon what do you have in common with mozart einstein pacquiao and duterte and in this case juan luna and jose rizal by the way ingat tayo may nag-message yan kahapon kung pwede daw ba wag na siyang iko wag na niya ikumpara ang sarili niya kay pacquiao at duterte sabi ko why when answering this question you should be objective set aside your subjective feelings and emotions what you have in common because we have something in common although yung pinagkukumparahan natin they are great people especially luna and rizal einstein and, uh, and mozart but we have something in common you have something in common any guess although i enjoyed reading your tasks yesterday your performance task ano na pati yung mga talents niyo sometimes kino ko ina niyo talaga nilapat ninyo those who love music yan ang similarity nila kay mozart those who are fond of uh, physics of mathematics of science will be uh, the similarity with einstein for being religious it's pakiyaw perseverance and pakiyaw kaya pa kahapon nagsagot Pareho kami magsalita ng Duterte. Iniisip ko na agad, ah, siguro, yung bunga nga nito ay ano. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> anyway, again, any wild guess, what is uh, common between you and these great people? Kagaya nito, no? for example, si Juan Luna. He is known for this painting of his, Spoliarium. And Jose Rizal, of course, aside from being our national hero, although wala pa namang batas tungkol doon, national hero, he wrote two magnificent novels that awaken, awaken the senses and consciousness of the Filipinos of his time, No Limitang Here and El Filibusterismo. What do we have in common with these great people? Anyone? Yes, uh, Elmond. Go ahead. Ano po, sir? Parang we all have big responsibilities. All right. We have we have big responsibilities, especially these people who have great power. They have great responsibility. What else? Based on our earlier discussion, especially the seven truths of UCSP, what can you infer about our similarity with these great people? Although wala tayong painting na kagaya ng painting ni Juan Luna o ng novel na kagaya ni Rizal o ng formula na kagaya ng kay Einstein at music sheets na kagaya ni Mozart. What do we have in common? The context is UCSP, especially the seven truths of the UCSP. Anyone? Uy, kayo ah. Itong subject na to dapat mas madami kayong sinasabi kaysa sa akin. Yan ang ini-expect ko, no? Ayan, sige. Uh, Josephine, go ahead. Ano po, sir? Lahat po tayo nagbibigay ng comment about politics and government. Alright. Nagbibigay tayo ng mga ganyan, mga, mga comments, mga observations. Thank you. Sabi ni Zoe, we are all human beings. Therefore... Therefore, context, context, context of UCSP. Yes, Elmond. Hindi Go po ahead. natin kayang mabuhay ng mag-isa. Alright. Luna cannot do it alone. Rizal cannot do it alone. And so as Mozart, Einstein, Pacquiao, and Duterte. What else? Ayan, sabi ni Jules, we are born and raised with Filipino heart. Therefore, kasi si Mozart, walang Filipino heart yan. We are all political animals. Therefore, <laughs> alright, walang katapos ng therefore. 
I make mistakes, you make mistakes, they make mistakes, and we all make bad choices. All right? That's very positive. Thank you. That's true, no? That's the reality. Pareho namin gusto na mamulat ang mga tao sa realidad. Sabi ni Nova. Yes, Faith. Go ahead. Sir, we share the same culture, beliefs, and um, because we are all Filipinos, when we face in, this, in the same race, but in the same country. Therefore, <laughs> we are very expressive. We can do impossible things. Uh, I cannot do impossible things. <laughs> we are hungry for power or supremacy. We are social. Go uh, at at the bottom line. Ito yun eh. We are shaped by other people. Kasama na yan. So being social, involving in politics. Mozart cannot uh, produce his music without the influence of other people. Einstein as well cannot come up with uh, his great scientific formulae without the influence of other people. The spoliarium of Luna is also a product of influences as well as the, the novel of Rizal. The way Duterte talk is also an influence of his culture of his surroundings. The way Pacquiao persevered in his fight is also brought about by influences. And these influences can be summed up with this plot. Here's our ano, similarities. Great people and their great works is influenced by their plot. Tayo naman, ano, in our case, we are ordinary people but what we do, what we think, and what we say, they are influenced also by our plot. We are influenced by other people. We are influenced by the culture of the locality where we live. We are influenced by ordinary or extraordinary circumstances of the time, the current events or the history that are happening during our time. And we are influenced by the zitgeist or the time spirit prevailing during our era. The same way as Mozart, Einstein, Pacquiao, Duterte, Luna, and Rizal. Because they are influenced by their plots. Especially time spirit. Minsan yun ang pinakamalaking factor dyan eh. Rizal and Luna were influenced by the time spirit or zitgeist of freedom and liberation. Especially from from foreign conquerors, especially by their education background, educational background, you know, where they study. They were also influenced by that. Our culture as well, you know, part, ng, ano yan, part, ng, part ng locality, culture, influences us. These plots definitely influence us. Again, it's, kung hindi man great works, kasi wala pa tayong great works, kung wala pa, the way we think, the way we speak, the way we act, these are influenced by our plots. All right? Sabi nga dyan, ano? A great work of art requires not only the skill of the artists, but also, I want you to underline this word, social context that recognizes his or her talent and encourages him or her to pursue that talent. Always in the context of the social, in the context of the three forces, culture, society, and politics. And sabi pa ni Howard Becker, an, uh, a sociologist, artists do not produce work alone. They are inextricably connected to the consumers of their products, the owners of businesses who sell and market their work, and most importantly, the critics and experts who analyze and judge what they make. And lastly, sabi nga ni Isaac Newton, ano? Isaac Newton, and ano to, uh, ano yung word na yan? Ito na naman ako sa nasa dulo ng dila ko. Isaac Newton affirmed this truth when he said, If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of the giants. Isaac Newton cannot discover anything by himself, 
but because of the influence of other great scientists and physicists before him and, and philosophers before him. And that's the reason why if he has seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of these giants. So in, in UCSP, there is no such a thing as a one-man show. Everything is, kumbaga, uh, pag inapalay ko dito yung hin, uh, Buddhist uh, mentality of mindfulness, everything is interconnected. You are not doing things alone. Conscious or unconsciously, you are doing it with the people before you. Conscious or unconsciously, you are doing this with them. That's the reason why UCSP, aside from being a subject, aside from being a course, are you listening? UCSP is a dialogue. Mamakinig. UCSP is a dialogue. Between who? A dialogue between yourself. A dialogue between your culture. And a dialogue between you and the great people before you. Great or ordinary people before you. That's the reason why in UCSP, the technique is you will discuss ano sinasabi nito mga, mga uh, anthropologists na ito, philosophers na ito, and then we come to dialogue with them. Kasi hindi lahat ang sinasabi nila dito tatangu tatangu tatanguan nyo lang. Are you listening? You are now, you are free to either affirm what they said, reject what they said, or criticize what they said, or improve what they said. Because this is a dialogue. And uh, aside from that, my goal as a teacher in UCSP is to form in you a critical mind. A critical thinking or critical thinking should be exercised. Hindi sa akin pi pwede na opinion mo lang na walang basehan ang sinasabi mo sa aking klase. Kasi madama tayong mga arguments, madama tayong mga debates sa UCSB, especially when we go to the social issues. Kaya ayoko sana maging reason yun para lalo tayong hindi magkaintindihan. Because the purpose of UCSB is a dialogue. Do not forget that. It's a dialogue. Usapan ito. Kaya, especially those in our social media, is conditioning our mind to believe another story, a different story, contrary to the truth, the true story. Paniniwalain tayo nila na gusto nilang kwento na mabuo sa isip natin. That's the reason why I'm very critical, especially in watching news, in, what, in, in reading articles, in reading news items. I don't trust everything I see there especially the editorial section. Because somewhat it is, not, it is a mind-conditioning game. All of them are biased. <laughs> Masyado mabait pa si, ano, si Abel, sabi niya, some of them. All of them are biased. Ngayon, pinapresentan tayo ng mga ganyang kwento. Nakasalalay sa atin kung paano natin hihimayin yan. Yung mga kwento ang ibinigay sa atin. Alin dyan ang totoo, alin dyan ang hindi. Sabi nga ni Descartes, ano, uh, we must practice healthy skepticism, the Cartesian skepticism. Pag mong, sa isang basket, paano ka makasiguro mong lahat yun ay fresh apple? Tanggalin mo muna lahat ng laman. Tapos isa-isahin mong ibalik yung apple. Yung fresh ang ibalik mo, yung bulok itapon mo na. That's healthy skepticism. At pwede natin may apply sa social media natin ngayon. At least, no, we can have a clearer view and vision of what culture, society, and politics is all about. Alright, so with that, I'll end my presentation sa ating orientation ng UCSP. Any questions? I will now stop recording. Ha?